Welcome to a video where I'm in a hole with a load of villagers and it's raining. This is the intro idea I had for today. I'm, I'm really, really, really running out of ideas now. Please subscribe for more ideas. That makes no sense. Let's start the video. Welcome back to X-Life, where to be honest with you, I think I'm in desperate need of an outfit change. However, not yet. Instead, we're going to be doing what I said I was going to be doing last time, which is building an auction house. Now we're going to be building this at spawn, but whereabouts at spawn? I feel like it's very crowded over here and over here. So I think what I might do is I might actually go over here and build it behind the church. I can put like a bridge across so people have to come past the church. The bonus being people actually have to come through the church of Jeremy. I can build like a double bridge system across here and we can have it here. I think that'd be quite cool. So firstly, let's have a quick time lapse where we sort of adjust this area here to be suitable for building on. Not much is happening, but some stuff has changed slightly, but not really, but slightly still. So we have a decent amount of space here. It's still looking a bit rough, but we'll probably finish that off afterwards. I have a load of blocks that I'm going to be using here and I've come up with a design I'm really happy with. I think you guys should like it too. Let's take it away with another big time lapse. This was a mess to record. Firstly, I forgot to set the time lapse running, which is why we're starting halfway through. Then I crashed about four times. One point I forgot to put shaders back on. It, it was just a mess, but I love this building. I actually just Googled auction house and found a picture from some random video game. I'm not entirely sure what it is. And I just sort of tried to like turn it into Minecraft. And I think I did a pretty good job. I don't have a picture because honestly, I couldn't find the picture again. I just saw it once. Oh look, shades are gone. Oh no. But I really like this design. It's gone for like a sort of medieval sort of town vibe here and I think it ended up looking really really good. I won't lie to you, I've not done the interior yet which to be honest is the most important part of this because the rest of it doesn't really matter. This is just all for show at this point but we're going to actually be doing a silent auction so if you don't know what that is basically people will be able to come at any point and outbid each other. So they'll just be like a lectern in front of a book on where they can put their bid in, etc. But it's done. Let me go quickly show you around it. Did I say show you around it? There's not really that much to show, to be honest. But you can see it's quite a funky looking building. It's a bit unusual, but I like it. I think it looks quite cool. Inside, it is empty, but there's a lot of space. And there's a lot of space for two floors because we're going to have double floors in here. And we've not put too many windows in because I'm going to be using most of the walls for putting artwork on, etc. I haven't done the bridge yet because I've got to make two bridges and I hate building bridges because they always are quite tricky to make look good. Especially we've got to do a diagonal one here, which is always hard. But first, I'm pretty sure Lizzie has accepted my donkey gift. So let's go see what happened. The donkey is gone. The sand is still here, but the donkey's gone. What? Oh, I'm guessing this is the donkey. There's not much left of him, is there? And there's a lectern that says, to my dearest loving husband, I'm so sorry. I made a terrible mistake by killing all the cute compliment animals. <laughs> One turtle survives and I will raise him as a son. Love from Lizzie. Visit the coordinates of our wedding anniversary. Okay, I've been lying to you. I actually knew that the donkey was gone. Lizzie showed me what happened. And honestly, I was crying with laughter. It was so funny. She murdered all the turtles. I couldn't believe it. But there's a quest. I didn't know about this. Visit the coordinates of our wedding anniversary. That's far. So it should be 11 5 2019 I guess she'd do. Oh wow it's gonna take a while to get here. Man this is really in the middle of absolute nowhere. I'm still like a thousand blocks away. Okay we're nearly there. It's in the middle of an ocean but wait it's around here somewhere. Guess we're gonna have to go down. Okay we're on 11 2019 so it should be just under here but it's not. Is this one meant to be five? Are you kidding me. Off we go again. 2,000 blocks away. We're almost there. Again. Aha. Oh. A hat. Wait. <gasps> Ooh, a Dale hat. Let me put it on. Cute. And a hat stand. And a buck and quill in a chest saying, you're the chip to my Dale. Visit Scott's lighthouse for a sweet surprise. Oh my gosh. Do I not have any walk scrolls? No. Please, no. How could I be so stupid? Oh, look, there's turtles here. Wait, I just spotted a waste stone. Yes. All right, let's just use this. All right, let's go to Scott's lighthouse. Where is it? Aha, I'm liking my new hat. I'm going to have to find an outfit to match. Ooh, what is this? Is this for me? And picked flowers. Oh, 
cute. And a book and quill. And it says, I picked these flowers for you enjoy. Please forgive me, boy. Your final treat is among the stars. Out of this world, like the love that is ours. The stars. Does Scott have any stars in his? I know he's got the moon. The stars. Is it the solar system? Are these the stars? Among the stars. Those are stars, right? Is it up here somewhere? Yes, I found it. I'm smart. I got it in one. There we go. Ooh, feeding trough. A wheat and a buck and quill again. And this one says, I know how much you love your donkey, Jeremy. This is for him. Once again, I'm very sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, all forgiven. It's okay, Lizzie. Let's go visit donkey Jeremy. Donkey Jeremy, I have a gift for you. There's this here for you, donkey. And I think... Can I put this in it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure he prefers carrots, but... You might enjoy them, might you? So I did ask Lizzie if she wanted to join Jeremyism as she killed all my turtles, but she said no. I'm working on it, guys. Okay, I'm still working on it. Also, I noticed over here, we've got a chest saying, thanks for welcoming me to the server. I'm Jim. Ooh, pink delphiliums. Interesting. Ooh, gold ingot, an emerald, a pumpkin pie, and some cookies, and a flower. Blooming friendships. Aw. I'm going to plant this flower at the front of my base here. Lovely. I need to make like a section of my base where I can store all the nice gifts I've got. But for now, end a chest. All right, let's head back to the auction house here because we need to start working on the interior. And I think I'm going to double layer the walls in here because I think that could look quite nice. Make it a bit brighter. We're going to go for like a bluey color. So let's go grab some blocks and let's start by just layering up these walls, shall we? With a click of my fingers, it'll be done. Whoa, look at the difference there. That's crazy. I just realized I've somehow missed a bit here. There we go. So it's actually two slightly different colors. This one at the bottom is a bit darker. But I went for a sort of, you know, like light blue, light cyan color because I thought that'd be quite nice. The staircase is going to be a spiral one up here. I actually leave a door, but it should be going there. That was the whole point of this little tower on the left here. But now we're to do the floors and ceiling. And for the bottom floor, we're going to use these stone white gray wallpaper craft blocks because I think they look quite nice. So let me just fill this up quickly. Why does it look pink at the moment? Might just be my shaders. Anyway, let's place all these down. Lovely. But for the floor on the next level, let's go for a plank. Maybe just wisteria like up there. As we've already got a load of it. So we now have a ceiling upstairs and a ceiling downstairs plus floor, etc. Now I just need to make this staircase work quickly. And then we can start adding in the art and where everything's going to be displayed. All right, nice. Staircase is in. It's a bit tight, but you can get up there eventually, as you can see. I'm going to add some doors on on each level as well to separate it up. But let's work out the layout of this place. I think I'm going to have a central section here so I can put artwork on the wall in the center and then art on the sides as well. Same with the next level. There's a lot of faffing about here. Let me just set it all up and we'll be ready to go. All right, it's set up. We got our painting frames in here. We got our lecterns with empty books on where people can make their bids. Quite a big pain to do all that, but we got it set up finally. I think I'm going to put some lanterns behind some of these paintings as it's quite dark in some spots of this place. But let's start adding the paintings and the name tag next to it. All right, we are pretty much full up with art. However, there is still some space, so make sure you go to my Reddit, which is reddit.com forward slash r slash smallish beans and submit your artwork there. Side note, there's a lot of artwork of me in this gallery, which I love, but I don't think people are going to buy. So artwork of like moments on the server, like the trial, the turtle disaster, etc. might sell a bit better. And I'm not going to show off every single one. I'll let other people show them off in their videos, but you can see all the artwork here, which we've got. It's actually insane. A lot of them are Jeremy related. I'm not sure if people will buy these. But we'll, we'll see what happens. There's some ones of Lizzie as well. Donkey Jeremy, Hedgehog Jeremy, Me and the Virgin Jeremy. This one here by Luna, which is insane. I think this one's going to have quite a few bids. A lot of empty spaces up here, as you can see. But we've got a Hedgehog Jeremy over here. We've got The Last Supper, but as Jeremy is up, which is great. These ones here from JN Jellybean YT, who are making cards for each of us, which is insane. And more Jeremy's and ones. But yeah, you can see we've got quite a few spaces still. Is this my first customer? Gunpowder. No, you're not. Get out of here. You guys aren't allowed. You're banned. But I put this lectern here and I'm going to write a quick book explaining how things work in this place. So it says, welcome to Joel's art auction house. What is it? Here I am selling art made by my viewers. Yes, 
I'm profiting off their hard work. <laughs> How does it work? It's a silent auction. You take the book from the lectern in front of the art, then write your name followed by your bid. Diamonds only. If someone has already bid, you can outbid them, etc. How long is it? The first auction will end at 8pm GMT on the 1st of October. I will collect the diamonds from the winners after the auction ends. Make sure to come back every so often and check to see if you're still winning ETC. And disclaimer, the art auction has no association to Jeremy's and despite there being a lot of Jeremy's and photos. <laughs> so there we go. And with that, we are pretty much ready to be running. So I'm going to open it up now. People can come along and start bidding. However, the area around here is not nice. The waystone here is ugly and we need to make these bridges. So we're going to work on that now, link this all up and probably make a nicer waystone area here as well, neaten it up a little bit. Also, I might actually change this wall here so that this is included in spawn as it is still part of this land here, which is what Scott said, that Jeremyism wasn't part of it because it was on an island separated by the water. Well, this won't be. This is part of the same land. Let's do a big cheeky time lapse right now lazy beans you know what to do son so we started off by making a path all the way from by where jimmy's jimmy books is all the way over to the auction house which you can just about see on the left there had to clear a lot of land though it's quite awkward to try and make this path work but we got there in the end and then i also had to make those two bridges and a waystone point i actually made the waystone point there you can barely see it but the two bridges i decided to go for this sort of like wisteria lovely sort of bright theme to make it look very welcoming and i think it looks pretty welcome we had some little bulbs on the top of it as well which went and made and the diagonal bridge is pretty similar except it's diagonal and yeah with that it was done it is very easy now to get to this auction house so hopefully people will build some shops over here as well it's quite a nice little lake here that could be converted to look quite nice as we are a bit out of the way at the moment but i want people to start building over here as i feel like over there's getting really cramped but the bridge from the Jeremyism area here is very nice. You get a good view here from this middle island of the whole Jeremyism section. And then this bit here as well, really quite quaint. Very nice indeed. And then our little waystone area is here. It's been named to Auction House. So people can get here, ring the bell if they want. Hello? Hello? There we go. And hopefully come make a bid on some art. So I'll let everyone know on the server that it's open. I do need to make like a sign to put up on people's notice boards, but I'm terrible at artwork. So if anyone's got any suggestions of what I could do for that, let me know in the comments. I also should probably add some like greenery or something onto this middle island. What can I do with this middle island? I feel like we could turn this into something nice. Let me know if you've got any ideas. But quickly, I want to see if I can make my outfit look a bit better. As at the moment, it looks cool with our new hat, but I want to change my skirt and my socks again. Oh, and actually, I need to collect my stuff. Hello, Enderman, what are you doing here? As I was saying, I need to collect my stuff from the parkour challenge. Although I didn't do very well, so there's not much to collect. But we'll collect what we did get from our little podium here. And I want that trophy, to be fair. Let me grab that. Very nice. And our diamond and our Disney wish block. I think we're going to put our trophy up here. Got a little like display shelf up here. I think there is lovely. Very nice. And let's see what we get from this Disney wish block. Be something good. <gasps> oh, a cocoa hat. <laughs> that looks funny. I like it. But I'm going to stick with my Dale hat for now. I think I found my new skirt to go with my hat. Yes, love it. And how about these socks? Oh yeah, they got little cute cats on them. Adorable. This is my new outfit. I'm sorry, it's hideous, I know, but I just keep trying to make it more and more hideous. These socks are so bad. <laughs> Look at them. Now, I've got quite a lot of diamonds at the moment. I need to keep five stacks, which is that much, to give to Jack. But I just opened one of those Disney wish blocks and now I kind of want to open more. So, let's make some more. Oh my gosh, it's going to cost a lot of diamonds. I just spent a lot there, like a stack and a half to get 16 of these things. Okay, please don't give me any duplicates now. I'm going to open them with Donkey Jeremy for good luck. All right, number one, Donald hat. I know Jimmy wears that. Oh, Tiger Lily. Winnie the Pooh hat. Minnie is another Tiger Lily. Oh, a witch's hat. Evil witch hat. The Minnie is would go really well with our... <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Another poo hat. 
So many duplicates already. Pua hat? Another witch hat. Another tiger lily. Pluto, that's cool. <gasps> oh, I got Chip. I wonder if Lizzie has it. Both have our matching hats. Another Pluto one. Another tiger lily. That's like the worst one in my opinion. Another Pua. And another ch Chip. Oh, so a decent selection, but quite a few duplicates. Oh, it looks like Lizzie's already got the chip one. I might keep this on for now. I quite like these mini ears. But I'm going to store my Dale hat on here in my entrance hole for now. I need to, like, figure out what I'm going to do with this upper section. It's been a while since I've worked on this middle section, so... I think we'll probably work on that a bit next episode. But unfortunately, guys, that's all we've got time for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye.